If you have pets on your acreage, you need to have a pet containment system. We're here with Andy Tim. Andy, welcome to the show. Thanks, Betsy. We're going to talk a little bit about underground electronic pet fencing. And of course, the reason to have this, we have our dog Tucker here, who's six years old. And uh, we don't want Tucker to get out on the road. We live right on a busy road. Yeah. So um, can you tell me a little bit about the basics of the system? You bet. Uh, electronic pet containment is based on traditional conditioning. We want to use uh, several different um, identification tools All right. to train a dog to a boundary. Okay. Some of the things that we use are uh, flags for a visual cue to the boundary. Okay, so the dog sees the flags and That's right. knows where, where it is. All That's right. it. And then, uh, of course, they'll wear this uh, computer collar okay. of which um, we'll make a big. sound. Pretty small. Yeah, they've really uh, come a long ways with the technology of okay. these computer collars. And, um, so, so we'll have to uh, install the fence, put the collar on the dog, you put the flags in, what, anything else? Yeah, they go through a training process and uh, it should take um, about three to four weeks to teach them their boundaries. The layout is important. Uh, you want to use natural boundaries as much as we can because once the flags are gone, then the only way that they know where their boundary is is through the sound. So okay. uh, we choose an appropriate area. Does the dog have to be a certain age or can it be any age? Well, that's a great question. We like to start training them around 14 to 16 weeks. All right. Uh, some dogs we can start sooner, but any age beyond that. So if, if I, uh, if, you know, Tucker being six, he's all right to train even at six years old? Sure. Okay, so you can train an old dog new tricks then. <laughs> and what's this, Andy? Well, this here in my right hand is the... The control unit we call the oh, microprocessor. Okay. So do I have that in my house? Yeah, well, it goes in the garage usually, just right. to an outlet. And this is what generates the signal that's out in the underground wire Okay. installed with this machine. How large of an area can you uh, install this system? Well, the larger the better, really. Really? And, All right. Uh, so you can install over several acres? You bet, yep. How much does the underground fencing cost? Well, it varies quite a bit usually starting out under $1,000 to right. over a couple. And that includes some help with the training? You bet. And we have it trainers. includes installation? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Um, all of those things are necessary to ensure the success that we demand with this product. All right. Great. Andy, our installation's complete now. We have the flags in, so can you tell me how we're going to do the training? You bet, Betsy. Well, we, we have Tucker's collar all set up here. All right. And uh, we've placed rubber covers over the prongs on the collar so that he won't feel anything. We just want to teach him, as soon as he hears the sounds at the flags, to run back away to the house. The so we're going to use sounds first. You bet. I'm just going to walk him up to you. Okay. And as soon as you hear the sound go off, just shake the flag at him. Shake the flag. You bet. And then right at that moment, I'll give him a quick tug on the lead. We'll run him away, and then we'll both give him a lot of praise that he did it right. Great. Okay, okay. let's give it a try. Okay. Come on, Tucker. Here we go. Good boy, good, good boy. boy. <laughs> All right. Good boy. Now, how long again do I need to do this training? Usually you should have your dog trained within about three to four weeks. Three to four weeks. Thanks a lot, Andy. That's great information. Thanks, Betsy.